Nanotechnology engineering is a revolutionary field that's expected to be on the same level of influence on human advancement as the Industrial Revolution. Unlike mechanical engineering, for example, nanotechnology is one of those engineering fields where a clear job description is hard to find because those jobs are yet to come into the market. But potential students wishing to pursue this beautiful and ultra-modern field want to know what it's all about. But there's never enough relevant information around, so this video had to be made. On the big picture, this is an age of smart devices, better communication, space exploration, and an effort to extend and elevate the human life experience. Nano is a prefix meaning billionth, and now we are talking about a billionth of a meter. That is somewhere between 2 and 20 atoms wide. How many atoms depends on the size of an atom of a particular element. Now, nanotechnology engineering is the art of using physical and chemical properties of elements and compounds to our advantage to solve problems and make life easier. There is no need for an elaborate definition for this. Nanotechnology can be applied to anything. Medicine, national defense, criminology, household products, computing, you name it. So you can imagine working in almost any industry at almost any company, doing many different things, because nanotechnology is very specialized, yet very broad. There are essentially four things a nanotechnology engineer can do after graduating, depending on what degree of education is earned. Number one, the most common work you can do is research and development. You can likely work at a university research lab or a company doing active research. You will be studying different materials and properties, doing many calculations and computer modeling, and using advanced equipment to do experiments and tasks that have never been done before in the known history of the human race. You will be the risk taker stepping into unknown grounds, and hopefully your discovery will be useful enough to make the world a better place on the whole. Number two, as an extension to research and development, you can become a professor of nanotechnology at a university. In the future, it is very likely that the world will get more interested in understanding the value of nanotechnology, which will hopefully result to a lot more universities offering nano degrees. This is where you would come in, passing down the knowledge you learn to the next generation of nanotechnologists. Number three, you can also either work for a nanotechnology focused company or a research based company or start your own. Either case will involve not coming up with theories and discovering new properties, as a scientist would, but applying what researchers have discovered. You will be designing tools and processes to make manufacturing nanotechnology products industrially feasible. You'll be responsible for designing consumer-friendly products while keeping in mind social and environmental impacts of nanotechnology. Finally, you can work as a consultant or advisor for any institute, business, or a government agency dealing with nanotechnology. In this case, you will have the technical knowledge and management skills as this is a very multidisciplinary field to bridge the gaps between the worlds of engineering, law, and business management. You will discuss and enforce ethics, suggest new laws to be created, and help enterprises make the right decisions. Nanotechnology is a very multidisciplinary field, yet it is a field at a primitive stage in its development, and the nano-engineers of today will lay the foundations for human advancement that will take effect far into the future. It is so thrilling to be living in such a revolutionary age. You, as the present nano-engineers, will be the founding fathers and mothers of nanotechnology that will be remembered by the future world, just like we remember Aristotle, Isaac Newton, and Albert Einstein today.